guys? I'm Coach Martin and today we're going to be learning about finishing and how to, how to make a proper layup. So this video is mostly for beginners, but as we go on through the video, I'm going to be showing you some drills that even high school players do all the time uh, to kind of keep them in rhythm and, and never get rusty on finishing. So let's get started. So it's very important to practice proper footwork when doing a layup. The reason why is because if you go off the wrong foot, you can find yourself off balance. You could even find yourself missing a wide open layup. So on our right side, we're obviously gonna use our right hand, okay? And when we're dribbling up, if we're dribbling up, in this case, I'm not, but we always wanna use our right hand on the right side. Your first step is going to be right. And your second step is gonna be left. You're gonna be going off your left foot to finish. That's very important to keep balance. So I'll go ahead and show you how it's done. Right, left, finish. Now it's very important to hit that middle square if you notice, most backboards have a square on them. It's there for a reason. Uh, I tell my players the backboard is your best friend because if you hit that backboard, 95% uh, of the time, if you hit it right, the layup's gonna go in. So one more time, just to kind of show you how it's done. It's gonna be right, left, finish. So right, left, finish, hitting that square. Now here's a simple shot that a lot of players struggle with and it's simply because they don't practice it right. Now the left hand layup, you should not go up with your right hand. I know that most people are right handed, but you should get used to going up with your left hand on the left side. Again, if you're dribbling, you want to dribble with the left, with the left hand to protect the ball. So on the left side, the footwork is just opposite. So your first step is going to be left, and your next step is going to be right. And you're going to be going off your right foot with the left hand on the left side. So to kind of show you how it's done, it's going to be left, right, finish. Now, a big thing about finishing is you want to bring that knee up every time you go up. That knee will kind of give you balance and momentum to finish. So one more time, left, right, hit the backboard, bring the knee up, and it's simple as that. Now, here's a very simple drill, but every level does this drill, whether it's to get warmed up or just to stay loose. So what you're going to do is you're going to stand in front of the basket, and you're just going to practice going off the right foot uh, on, the, on whatever side it is. So uh, again, if you're going off the left foot, you're probably on the right side. Left side, you want to go off the right foot. So what you're going to do here is you're going to be laying it up back and forth. You still want to swing your hands, right hand, left hand, and you want to be doing the proper foot. Now this is a great drill to get loose, get warmed up, and to never lose your touch. A very simple drill that you can do. Now similar to the drill we just did, we're going to be doing this drill, but we're going to do it, we're going to be doing it behind the backboard. So kind of under the basket. The reason we do this is not just to practice reverse layups, but there may be times where you're cutting along the baseline and you get a pass here. And when you turn around and finish, that one second might be enough for the defender that you just lost to catch up and either block your shot or make it a more difficult shot. So you want to get used to catching the ball and just going straight up to finish. So here's a very simple drill. Again, practice at your footwork. Practicing going off with the opposite hands, just time behind the backboard. 